Hello guys and welcome back to our Macadel online training. My name is Nita, your physical and online instructor and today we are going to be drafting our Italian basic bodies. So when I say Italian basic bodies, I'm talking about the basic bodies from the EO Modelismo, alright? So I've actually searched the internet or rather YouTube and I haven't really found this pattern drafting method and and my most of my students have asked and i said okay i'll put this here so if you use this to learn how to make patterns then you can actually you know learn one or two things from this all right so i'll just do a little bit of explanation i have to um like split this video into two because i mean it's really going to uh be a bit long okay so now for the um italian method where most of us call it the bogo pattern drafting method Okay, you have your measurements just like so. So the figures already help you to know what and what measurements you're taking, which I will put the picture on the screen so you can screen munch it as well, okay? So um, you have like the chest measurement, which is the first um, measurement here. Your chest measurement helps you to know what your size is. So if you take your chest measurement friendly, I, I will actually post a video on measurement as well. But I mean, it's just the normal, put your tape above your chest. Make it firm, not tight, not loose. Okay, so you divide it into two. Whatever you get, that becomes your size. You know, you have this, when they say, what's your size? It's like a UK size 8, UK size 10, UK size 40. Now, in the Italian sizes, um, there are sizes 40, 42, 44, and so on and so forth. Okay, so whatever you divide, what you have, that is your size. Now, this is your measurement chart. So you have to take all this measurement, your chest circumference, bust, waist, hip, and all the other measurements, all right? So when you take that, you write it down here, all right? So from there on, you will move to what we call a standard body measurement chart. So they have their own basic body measurement chart. But um, their body figure is a bit different from us. We are really... Um, we have this lovely African body structure where we may have our boobs, you know, your bust a bit bigger, you have your hips a bit bigger, do you understand? And theirs is more on the slimmer part of it, okay? So we don't have that perfect structure like that. It's, you know, beautiful one, but not like theirs, okay? So I'm going to show you how to impute your own measurement. So now after taking your measurement and you divide your chest, that is normal, divided by two, whatever you have, you now come here. Now, on this body measurement, the chart, you have your height, you have your size. So, your size here is half of your chest. Okay, now, whatever is half of your chest forms your size. So, let's say your chest is, your chest circumference is 88, divided by 2 is going to be 44. So, you're walking under a size 44. But like I said, because we're Africans, our bust measurement, our waist measurement, and our hip measurement may be different, Okay. So what you do, come here to where you have your bust circumference and check for what that your bust measurement is. So let's say I have a bust measurement of um, 92, right? I will come here and look for 92 on this size chart and my bust measurement of 92 falls under 44. I will check for my hip measurement. It may be bigger, but still use your size of 44. But when you're drafting your pattern, use your exact bust measurement, your exact waist measurement, and your exact hip measurement. That is all for now. As we proceed, like the advanced one, I will add on other things you can change in this um, size chart, all right? But for now, use every other thing on your section, whatever falls for your size, but change, make sure that you use your actual uh, bust waist and hip please watch this video again and just follow my instruction now when you're you've been able to determine what you're using you now move on to our drafting now the first one you see here is a darkless bodies all right you don't have any dark that's what that's not a concept for today all right so we're working with the dark body so this looks a bit like the natalie um uh bray method right but it's it's slightly different it's actually really different right but i mean you achieve all that results as well okay so now this is just what you follow to arrive at this so what i want i expect if you're drafting this pattern is to make sure that your basic bodies looks exactly like this but in your measurement all right so that's what we're about doing now so we're going to go right into it okay so i'll be using a printout that i have 
so i'm working with this but that's the book that you need and of course please you need this too Rulers, very, very important. Your straight rule and your curve. I love this a lot. So you can get this, it's fine. And you're going to work with your tape measure. Now, this tape measure, you're working with CM and not inches this time around. You're going to be working with the CM, not the inches, all right? And then you need your calculator. Oh, so very, very important because we do a lot of calculations here as well. And then your pencil, eraser, and all that. Because I'm teaching, I'm going to be working with my markers. Okay, so I'll try to make this a bit fast. I can't do a recorded thing like my video stuff to make it fast. I just have to teach so you understand what we're dealing with. Okay, so I'll be working with two places where I have my standard body measurements and where I have my picture. I always tell my students, keep it open this way. So that whatever you read here, come here to this figure and look at it. Because whatever you have on your paper should look exactly like what you have here. All right. So now I'm going to be working with um, a size. I'm working with a size 40 this time around. All right. So this is a size 40 here. The second on the chart. That's what I'll be working with. Okay. So now before you start, I'm going to create a line. Now, if you're working with a plus size, Please keep about two inches at your top line. But if you're working with um, a normal size person, you can actually keep one. All right, because if you look at the Italian pattern, the front is actually your front waist length is actually longer than your back waist length. All right, so I will draw a line just like so. Okay, I did two, two inches. You can calculate that in CM anyway. So on the side, I'm going to keep one inch, all right? So I'm just going to take this line. So I'll just take it to a point until I know what length I'm actually working with, okay? So here, at the place the line met, I'm going to call that A. Mind you, don't forget, we are working with a size 40. It's always good to put it down so you actually um, don't forget what you're working with. Okay, so now let's start. Okay, so it says basic dress with that from size 40 to 48. And we're starting with the back. Now, this is the back and this is the front. So we're going to draft the back in this video and then we'll draft the front in another video, okay? So it says begin with top left corner of square. This is point A. Now, this is a square I have done. Not a full square, but I've started my square. And this is my point A, right? Okay. So in this pattern method, please just read. Once you read, and you're, I can do all of this off heart, yes? But, you know, it's we don't, you just read with understanding and it comes easy, okay? So it says begin with top left corner of square. This is point A. And it says A to B. So like I said, when you read A to B, please come here and look at what A to B looks like. If it says A to B, start your measurement from A. If it says D to F, start your measurement from D. So A to B says 1 over 24 size plus 0 0.2. Look at that chart I posted and just follow what I'm saying. So whenever you see 1 over 24 of size, remember that the size you're working with is 40. So it means 40 divided by 24 plus 0 0.2. Point two. So we'll take our calculator and check what we have. So 40 divided by 24 plus 0 0.2. I do my calculation straight. I don't break it. It just works better for me that way, okay? And we have 1.86. Now, where you have 1.8, like I have 1.86, 1.86. After a decimal point, we only take one number. We don't take more than one number. Okay? So, now, any number from 0 to 4 doesn't add, is minus, is, is nothing. So, that means the answer here will just be 1.8. But any number from 5 to 9, you turn it to 1. So, that means this 6 now becomes 1. So, we have 8 plus 1, which is 9. So, that becomes 1.9. Go back, listen to what I've said, and you're going to get it, all right? So what we're using for A to B is 1.9. Okay. So I'll take my tape, 
CN. I'm marking with my CN. Okay, so I'll mark my 1.9. I'll do a dot at that point, just like so, and I'll write there B. So the next thing says square down A to B1. So A to B1 says square down 4.5. Square down. I'll still place my tape where I started from and I'll square down. Just watch what I'm doing. All right, 4.12345, 4.5, and I'll write there B1. Now, if you notice, there are some places that have straight lines. Wherever there are straight lines, I'll mark them at different points so that I know that when I'm drawing my line, I'm getting straight lines. So where we have the 4.5, I'll come here and also mark my 4.5. That is a very short line, so I don't need to draw too. If I was using a pencil, I can draw as much as I can clean it up, but I'm not using a pencil, so I need to be careful. So I'll just draw a line up to that point, all right? So the next thing there, it says A to C. Okay, so it says A to C. So A to C says one over eight of height. I'll go back to my size chart. I'm working with the size 40 and I will look for height under 40. This is height under size 40 is 160. I'll take my calculator, I'll punch in 160. So it says one over eight of height. That means height divided by eight. So 160 divided by eight and it continues plus 1 over 24 of size. The size you're working with is 40, meaning 40 divided by 24. So plus okay, 160 divided by 8 plus 40 divided by 24. And it says plus 1.7 plus 1.7. Sorry, we have 23.3 rather. Okay. So 23.36, okay? So that's why I said if you have six, you turn it to one. So that's 23.4, all right? So from here, I will mark down 23.4, okay? And I mark, and I'll come to a different point. And I'll also look for my 23.4. I'll mark. I'll come for another point. All these so that I have a straight. Mind you, I'm going to draft my front and back. And I need a straight line for anything I am going to be doing. So for this one, I can draw the line as long as I want. Not so long though, but okay. So I'll just stop there. And I'll call that C. Okay. So the next thing it says A to D. A to D is your back waist length. Now we are going to come back to our chart and look for what the back waist length is. And it says 41 points. Back waist length is 41.9. And it says A to D. So from A again, I'll mark my 41.9. And here I'll write the D. Okay, so the next thing it says is D to E, and D to E is what your hip depth. So I'll come back to my chart under size 40. I'll look for my hip depth. So my hip depth says 18.2, and it says from D. So from D, I will mark 18.2. And I'll put here E, okay? So we have our E, sorry, didn't say that. So we have our E at this point, all right? So the next thing it says is A to F, which is your dress length up to your knee. 
I'll come back to my size chart and I'll look for my dress length up to my knee and it says 97 um, cm. Okay. So from my A, it says A to F. Okay, don't forget that. So from A So I'm placing my tape from A, please, if you're not seeing it. So incidentally, my 97 is at the end of my paper, but I'm still going to mark it so you can see where it stops. Okay. I'm just trying to shift this up so you guys can see. So can you see that? All right. So I'm just extending my line. So now, this is my F. So that is where the length of the dress is, okay? So I have to be really fast about this month, okay? So now that I'm done, I'm bringing this down so we now continue, okay? So the next thing, it says A to G. So A to G, this is A to G. G goes this way like you're seeing, all right? A to G. So A to G says one over six of size. Starting point of shoulder length, all right? So size is what? 40. So 40 divided by six. What do we have? 6.6. .6. And we're starting from A and going this way to G. So look for our 6.6 .6 and I'll mark it. And I'll write up there G just like so, okay? And it says it's a starting point of your shoulder length, draw neck curve, joint point G to B. So that's where your curve comes in. So you place your curve, just like I'm doing, and then draw that. Have you seen it? So your pattern is actually forming gradually. So the next thing is um, your A to H. A to H is half of your back width. That armhole um, cut at the back to the other armhole, like your back, all right? So we come back to our uh, size chart and look for our back width. Back width for a size 40 is 35.4. So we put in, so we do our calculation, 35.4 divided by 2 because it says half. And we have 17.7. So here, A to H, we find our 17.7, and we call that H, right? So now, immediately after that, the next thing it says is C to C1, which is your bust. Mind you, this is C, and we don't have C1. So to C1 is a quarter of your bust circumference minus 1. So we now look for the bust circumference under size 40, and we're having 84. So, we'll come to our calculator, put in our 84 divided by 4 minus 1, and we have 20, all right? So, from C, we are going to impute 20, okay? So, that is my 20 there, and I'll call it C1, right? So the next thing it says is D to D1, and that's a quarter of your waist circumference minus one plus three inches for that allowance. So we'll come and look for our waist under size 40, and we have 64. All right, so we do 64 divided by four minus one plus three for our dot, and we have 18. So from here, from our D, we're going to mark 18 cm, and this is it here. And I'll write there D 
one, just like so. So the next thing is your hip, and that's your E, right? So E to E1, and E to E1 is a quarter of your hip circumference minus one. You can add these allowances if you're not sure of the measurements. So we check what the size of the hip is, and we have the hip circumference is 90 on that size, 40, okay? So we're going to take 90 divided by four minus one, and we have 21.5 cm. So from your E, now we are going to impute 21.5 and we'll write here E1, okay? And the next thing it says F to F1 is the same thing as E to E1, okay? So whatever we have there, 21.5, we'll come here to F and also impute our 21.5, okay? And that is your F1, all right? And so the next thing says is that you should join all of this but first you're going to join c1 to d1 which is this to this that's just what i'm doing now in a straight line so using your straight rule you're going to join your e to f1 okay e1 to f1 using a straight rule which is exactly what i am doing like so and then you're going to join your D1 to E1 with a curve. This is a hip curve. That's what you're using. So place it just like so. All right, just like what I'm doing. Don't make it too curvy. Just try to manage your curve, okay? And then I will join it like that. So have you seen? So it has already taken shape, you know. So let's move to the up part now, okay? So we're almost done with the back okay and so it now says h to i i is down here this is h is perpendicular to your c to c1 what does all that english mean i mean whatever you have as a to h which was your back width divided by two i got 17.7 i'm going to impute exactly the same thing here at here on this c to c1 line and that will be my i now that is the line is going to be perpendicular meaning that just place your tape to be, or your ruler, exactly on this straight line, the C to C1 line, and draw a perpendicular line. That's just what the English is, okay? And I have just done so, okay? So the next thing is H to L. Now, H to L is here. Remember when I did this, I came down 4.5. I drew the line. You have to come down the same 4.5, all right? So it's just, I've already done that. So it's just to extend your line there and that is that point here now is your l have you seen that so the next thing it says is b1 to l1 mind you this is b1 so to l1 is going to be half of your back shoulder width so you quickly come back to your basic body's measurement and look for your shoulder width is where you're going to see they didn't write back shoulder width they wrote shoulder width it is the same thing as back shoulder width please so just add b there and make it a back shoulder width. so we have for a size 40 we have 37.4 okay so i'll quickly take my 37.4 divided by 2 and i have 18.7 now on this line on your b1 line please mark your 18.7 okay so that's what i'm marking here now and this is it so now as soon as i've marked that dot i'm going to extend my line to stop at that point so this is it that is my l1 guys have you seen that that's my l1 okay so now you're asked to join points g to l1 with a straight rule just like this please just do what i'm doing i'm trying to rush over it so the video is a bit short okay so that is it. So now that's my shoulder line. And when you're done with that, it says I to M. This is I to M. Square up 5 cm. So when you square up, mark it 5 cm. That is your M. And square right 0 0.3. 0 0.3. Count 1, 2, 3. I have a dot there. Have you seen that? So I came up 5 and I went out 0.3. Now you're going to join 
L1 to M, the new point you've made to your C1. So take your card, put it just like so. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so, show me some love. And for those that have, thank you. All right, so try to place your curve just this way. So I'm trying to make the curve meet my new point M. Now, if you can place it and everything joins up, good for you. But if you can't, please take it one after the other. So I'm going to take from my new point M into L1, like so. And then try to, you know, place my curve to join it from C1 to that new M line. Have you seen that? So I'm done with that. So the final thing we are doing now is going to be imputing our dark. See, our pattern has already taken a whole lot of shape, so now it's a dark. So now it says that D to R. Okay, now on this line, just to know where you're, so you're able to fit your um, pattern to your sleeves, please from the L1 measure down 9 cm and mark two lines there, just like I'm doing. One, two. So just measure down 9 cm and mark that, okay? So to create your dart, D to R, to find R, take, measure your D to D1 and divide by 2. So you can place your tape like so. This is, in my own case, is already 18 inches. And I know that half of that is 9, right? So I'm going to mark a dot at 9. And that is going to be my R. Okay? So once you do that, it says R to R1, you're going up. It's perpendicular to this C to C1 line, meaning that you're going to have a straight line. So whatever you have here, okay, so let's say 18, I did 9, come here and make sure that you're having exactly the same thing. The jack here is that the line must be straight, and then you're minus 2 CM. So I need to have a straight line, and I'll place this. I'll draw a straight line and then on this line, right, to find my R1, I have to come down 2CM. So I've marked 2CM and I call that R1. So the next thing it says is R to R2 square down 14CM. So from R, place your tape here, come down, find where your 14 is, okay? Extend your line. Please check that, that whatever you're doing is actually the same. Like one is not longer than the other, okay? And I'll write here R2. So now it says R to R3, all right? So R3 comes towards me to the left, 1.5. From R, count 1.5 cm and write there R3. Now R4 goes away from me. From R, count another 1.5 cm and write there R4. Now join all of these dots, close up your dots, all right? So I'll place this, draw that, just follow what I'm doing. And guys, we're done with our back bodies. It's as easy as that. Just follow what I have done and you're going to get it. And then here, you're going to write here your center back, okay? So if you don't want to write it in full, you can just call it your CB, all right? Always label your pattern. And so that is the back bodies of our Italian pattern, all right? And always also write somewhere that this is your basic bodies. So always, always, always level your pattern. So this is our basic bodies, okay? So now we're going to move into drafting the front of this pattern. And um, if you liked this, do subscribe to my channel and watch out for the second part of this uh, pattern drafting. That is the front, all right? So my name remains Nita, and I'll be seeing you in the other pattern class.